Hey everybody, thanks for joining us for another episode of Net Builders. Today we have a very special guest by the name of Day Shell, um, a very inspiring and aspiring entrepreneur uh, here in Tacoma, Washington. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself? Um, hi, my name is Day Shell Davenport. I'm 12 years old and I own the business called Flawlips. Flawlips, outstanding. And um, Flawlips, um, I actually got to uh, visit your booth uh, last Friday and um, see what you guys saw. Would you like to tell the audience a little bit about um, Floor Lips? Uh, yes, it was started last year around May and we've just grown since then. I sell lip gloss, body scrubs, um, lashes, makeup palettes, and much more to come soon. Outstanding, outstanding, and 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 the big the big thing here, as a lot of people don't know, is that she actually put together a vendor event. Which uh, what was the name of the vendor event again? Peace. Uh, the Peace of Tacoma. Peace of Tacoma, and uh, that was amazing. I mean, you had a huge turnout. How many vendors did you have uh, that day? Um, we had over fifty vendors. Wow. Wow, that's 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 amazing. That's amazing. It was a great event. So, what got you? Uh, what what gave you the idea to do this? To do that? Um, I had a friend who uh, was making lip gloss at the time, and also it was everywhere on YouTube on my for you page. And then my grandma at the time had started a T-shirt business, and I just asked my parents if I could start it. They told me to. Uh, make like a proposal to them I did it and then I just started outstanding outstanding how did that proposal go did you uh, sit down type it up and uh do all the uh, logistics yeah. and planning yes outstanding I have a 12 year old daughter that I can barely get to wash the dishes that's crazy and you creating proposal plans and organizing huge uh so what's so what's next for you um we're having another event um, next month, June 5th. Okay. And we're hoping more vendors will come out. We want to just get bigger, go from 50 to over 100 vendors, as many as possible. I don't, uh, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to do so. I mean, uh, the support there was great. The atmosphere that you guys created was amazing. Uh, there was so many people connecting with each other, networking with each other. I think that um, that really, really, really take to another event. I think you could, I, th I really believe you could double uh, last time's um, show. Yeah. Uh, yes. And we definitely seen you and dad walking around, interacting with everyone, talking to people and everything. So I think that made people feel a lot more comfortable as well. Uh, yes, we bought at least one thing or supported every business, even if they didn't make anything, having fun, we tried. I, I think that was great. I think that was great. So so is it, it's safe to say that you don't have the mind of a typical 12 year old. Um, a typical 12 year old is uh, out doing all kinds of crazy. I don't know. I haven't been 12 in a long time. But, <laughs> but in order to cultivate the mind that you have, uh, you know, I always say there's ABCs, associations, books you read and conferences that you attend. Mm -hmm. what, um, what did you do differently that, you know, caused you to um, fall into the entrepreneurial mindset at such a young age? Honestly, I don't think I did any of that. <laughs> really? I didn't do any of that. I just asked my parents to start it and they bought supplies. And ever since then, it's just gotten bigger. I've been to over at least 10 events and handed out business cards, told them what I do. Platforms have gotten much bigger. Outstanding. So pretty much your secret is networking. Mm -hmm. It's networking, getting out there and talking to people. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> it strikes my me. only secret. I, hey, hey. I haven't been to any conferences, nothing. Just been out talking to people. Okay. Word of mouth is what it's called, I think. Yeah. And and that is that is the best uh the best form of advertisement. I always say, like, I believe that's the best form of advertisement. So um Oh, wow, that, I just I just think that's amazing for you to just 
did, did you did you just wake up one day and was like, hey, this is what I want to do, or was there a build up? Uh, yeah, to it? actually, I asked over an email. <laughs> <laughs> I asked over an email, and they said they'd think about it, and then my dad asked me to make a proposal, and I did that estimate of how much money they would need to spend on the first round, and look what happened. <laughs> Wow. So, um, so the first, so your first, um, shot at it, everything did, did, the, um, did you get the results that you expected? Um, my first shot was actually in September when I first went to my first vendor event. I was with my grandma. She was doing t-shirts and I was sitting in the little corner of her booth. We had made uh, gift bags and put lip gloss, lip balm, lip scrubs in them. They did. I didn't do as much. I sold at least two bags, but then I went again with her and I made eighty dollars. And I went to one with the bite of black and made hundred dollars. And then I'm just getting bigger, wow. much more money, and got more products, made new stuff outstanding so so um so do you plan with, with your expansion i mean do you plan on um you know actually turning this into an actual full self-running business to where you hire individuals to um handle the day-to-day -day tasks for you uh yes eventually i want to franchise it get buildings with it everywhere all over the place wow that, that's amazing that's just that's just your your age still surprises me it's just because because can you i didn't get into entrepreneurism until about until about 26 years old and half of the stuff that you're talking about now i didn't think about any of this i didn't think about any of this until about 28 years old i got the idea when i was 27 about 28 29 is when i was like all right let me sit down and do some research so you starting now by the time you reach 18 i don't see any reason why you don't own a chain of franchises like around yeah. the entire world like i think it's great that you're starting at such a young age uh, what kind of research do you do speaking of um so prior to asking I watched lots of YouTube videos and I experiment in the kitchen a lot <laughs> by myself. So I kind of knew the basis of how to make all the stuff. I just needed a little more reinsurance on how to make it. So I watched videos, looked up on Google, looked up cheap stuff that I can get that is still quality, but not as much money to spend mm -hmm. for it starting out. And um, I use Google a lot and Amazon. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Amazon for products and everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, gotcha. Um, how can people um um for the audience? How how are people able to um reach you? Do you have a website? Uh, yes, I have a website, Facebook, and Instagram. And my website is flawlips.square.site. My Facebook is Original Flawlips, and so is my Instagram as well. Outstanding, outstanding. So do you? Um, so I know. So you started this last year. I mean, you started this in the in the midst of COVID. So, um, and I know mm -hmm. things were crazy at that time because, uh, especially for um for individuals at your age uh with everything that was going on with schooling and everything like um how did that how did that work in because i know it was like hey we're gonna change all the curriculum everybody's gonna stay at home and stay in front of a camera and then this year they decided all right now we're gonna send people back to school with <laughs> yeah. hybrids and i mean you're dealing with all of this and still running the business how did that um you know how did that work out so last year we didn't really do much school. They gave us a few assignments and that was it because it was new to everyone. So they didn't really know what to do. They didn't have a plan for if this were to happen. So I would do those assignments they give us. They were like mini assignments. It was like games that they gave us and stuff. 
So we do those and I pretty much just had free time. Gotcha. <laughs> But you didn't use your free time unproductively, you know, which I think that's great. Um, if I had that much free time at your age, I would have probably gotten into trouble and just ran around and did whatever. But you you use that time to research and build a business. Um, mm-hmm. So like um, your associations, like, I mean, since you started doing business, I know you have a lot less time to like go out and hang out with friends and stuff like that. So like, did your circle change? You know what I mean? Of Like who you hang out with? Um, I think it changed more because of COVID. I didn't really have much friends at first anyways. I had a few people and that was it. But because COVID, uh, I didn't really lose those people because I always contact them through Instagram and FaceTime. Mm-hmm. But uh, I still have those same people. It's just different now because we're not in the same group. It's cohorts too. So I have a def- I definitely have a smaller group. I have like three close friends and that's it. Gotcha. And they're pretty supportive in your business? Uh, some of them know and some don't. Gotcha. 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 So for your next event, is there a way for people, to, for uh, businesses and um, entrepreneurs to be able to um, find out, you know, like a flyer or anything like that? Uh, yes. Actually, it will be posted on my website soon. And then it's already posted on Facebook and I'm working on posting it on Instagram now. Outstanding. Outstanding. And I'll definitely, uh, I think we're friends on Facebook now. I believe so. And I'll definitely share it out there too. I think what you're doing is great. Um, I think, I think it's amazing. I mean, the, the turn up there was uh, the, the people that turned out there. It was just amazing. Uh, yeah, that was, that was, believe it or not, that was probably like my second event. The first event I went to was uh, hosted by Generation 2.0. I don't think they even oh, had. The Bite of Black yeah and i don't think they had as a big of a turnout as you as <laughs> at all but that's where uh, i started going to but gotcha. covid less people coming then they had to stop at one point because mm-hmm. we went back to like phase one i think and then they had to stop completely and then they just came back recently yep yeah definitely so yeah I, I think what you're doing is great there was so many there were so many vendors out there i mean as a, a platform that you provided for them to be able to get out there and be able to get their products and services known uh, I, I think that i was amazing um so is there anything that you want to say to uh, young aspiring entrepreneurs that might want to travel the same route as you uh yes they should just ask because asking never hurts, I don't think. Ask, that's all I did was ask. Just ask. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just ask. Well, Deshaun, I appreciate you joining us today. And um, I look forward to seeing, you know, seeing where you go with everything. I mean, I think you have a great start. And I think that you're hitting the ground running. And you'll be unstoppable. And we look forward to seeing what else you accomplish out here. Thank you. All right. So until next time, you guys have a good one. And thanks again for uh, showing up today.